Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done just a regular kind of video where I can talk to you, do a review, or kind of update you on what's going on. Um, I just finished up Vlogmas for this year, so I hope you all got to check those out. But first, let's go ahead and get a couple things out of the way. Number one, yes, I sound a hot mess because I am just getting over a cold, and I know it always seems like I'm, I either have allergies or some type of sickness, but I'm having a cold. Well, actually, I kind of borderline think I may have had a fever, double air infection, something. Um, but I am on the mend, so I apologize for the stuffiness and the sneezing and the coughing and all that good stuff. And second of all, yes, let's go ahead and talk about the obvious. Got my Kentucky jersey on because the game just ended not too long ago the battle of the bluegrass for 2017 and of course my kentucky wildcats were victorious over the dirty birds cardinals fells down <laughs> sorry had to do it guys <laughs> All right, though, but go ahead. Let's get this out of the way. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, which is probably right over here, down here, over here. You all know where it is. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a long-awaited review of a very expensive handbag that I received um, and I want to share it with you guys. Um, I know if you're anything like me before making a big purchase like this you always want to maybe do some research, get reviews and honest opinions from other people that have made the purchase to see is it worth the splurge or not. So I also uh, went out and searched various videos before um, requesting this handbag and I thought that since now I have one, I would make one for you guys too. So if you're interested in, in this review of my brand new Louis Vuitton Monogram Neverfull MM, then keep on watching. <laughs> The long-awaited Louis Vuitton Neverfull has made its way into my arms and I'm so excited. So let me give you the backstory and tell you how it all went down. So obviously the Christmas holiday um, has come and went and it was a great one. The reason for the season, had a great time with family, um, got to catch up, do spend some quality time, and just just hang out and do all the things that we don't normally get to do on a day-to-day -day basis because of the hustle and bustle of life and work and all of those things. So it was nice to get caught up with everyone, see everyone, see the nephews, um, and spoil them a little bit. But on the flip side, it was also nice to be spoiled a little bit too. Um, my husband, made this purchase for me and what's so crazy about it is I was not expecting this handbag whatsoever. Um, I literally have been asking for this bag for about 10 years and well okay so it's been on my wish list to myself for about 10 years but I've actually been asking it for him um, for about five years now and um, every time I ask the answer is always the same. Hell no, I ain't spend that kind of money on no damn handbag. Um, and, he, and it's always in return, why would you even want to carry a bag that damn expensive? Like, that makes no sense. Um, so, finally, after years of asking and getting the same answer, I guess it was probably before Thanksgiving, we were having a conversation about, well, what do we each want for Christmas? And we got into, of course, the bag came up again, and it, we left the conversation, but you know what, hun? Don't you worry about it. Because me and one of my girlfriends from work, we're going to drive our little happy butts to Nashville in January. We're going to pull up to the Louis Vuitton store. We're going to make an appointment first <laughs> so that they have our champagne ready. And we're going to have a true Louis Vuitton experience. And we're going to purchase our own handbags. Um, so for the last two months, this has been the plan. That my girlfriend Jessica and I were going to Nashville, make a little overnight you know weekend out of it and we're gonna go to Louis Vuitton and we're gonna purchase these bags ourselves we didn't want to order them online we wanted the full experience <clears throat> so that's how we left the conversation so I by no means was expecting this bag so Christmas morning rolls around we both wake up we sit down in the living room floor like two little kids like we always do and we're doing our gifts to each other and the very last gift I have to open he hands it to me 
and it was just a square box never thought anything of it I rip off the first layer of wrapping paper and I immediately see the box and the color of the box and I immediately know exactly what it is and I just kind of look at it up at him like a kid in a candy store like you didn't and he had this look on his face of course he had his phone out and he was uh, taking pictures of me while I was opening it and I mean my heart started going boop 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 like it was going a hundred miles an hour and I just ripped open the rest of the paper and I literally just stared at this beautifully wrapped box and I'm thinking like oh my word I cannot believe he just got this and he was like where are you gonna open it so of course I carefully take apart the bow I open the box and then there's the the staple dust bag and I'm like oh please tell me it's my never full inside and I open it up and it's my never full so I'm so excited y'all so obviously I have opened this bag but I have not carried it um, and I have not carried it for a couple of reasons and of course he is upset that I have not carried it but I told him you just spent all this money on this handbag for me. There is no way in hell that I am going to carry this bag and risk the chance of getting the inside of it dirty. So immediately after opening it, I got on Amazon and I ordered the insert organizer that goes in the bottom of it. So um, it kind of serves two purposes. One, it helps it keeps its shape um, of the part of the handbag, but also it has it's an organizer. So it has all these dividers and different pockets for things, and it helps keep the interior um, of your bag clean. So I told him I was not going to carry it until I had that, which I actually just got it today. It was delivered like an hour ago. So I thought, well, you know what? I've got the organizer, I've got the bag. Well, let me do the full unboxing and review of both. So eh, let's see here. Um, let's just go ahead and start with the bag, okay? So here it is, guys. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so this is the bag I mean the box <laughs> keep calling it bag so this is the box that it came in um, your staple Louis Vuitton gift box um, I think if you normally order it off the website off the Louis Vuitton.com website and it comes in like this shade right here it comes in a, just a standard box that's like this shade and you open it up and the dust bag is sitting inside but because obviously this was a Christmas gift it came wrapped so this is the Louis Vuitton gift box that you would get if you're giving it to somebody as a present so this is what it came with and um, it has like a little card and stuff that they you pull out on the tag which he didn't have anything in here but instead he had a card inside so let me open this and I will so the bottom opens like this and you open and it's literally just a box <laughs> um, inside were was um, this matching card um, and I think this normally is like a receipt holder and obviously since it was a gift I did not get the receipt but Obviously, I know how much you paid for it. Um, so inside is this right here, and it has Louis Vuitton going across the front, and it has a little note that obviously he told them to type up, and they typed out a note, and this was his card inside of the bag. Um, so I'm super pumped about that, so definitely keeping that. And so that is the box. Now for what we've all been waiting for. Inside the box was this dust bag. And obviously it has the Louis Vuitton logo on the front of it. And inside the bag is the box, the never fool. And so this is another reason why I wanted to make sure I got an insert, um, an organizer to go inside of it because the bag comes folded like this. And so, I mean, who knows how long it's been that way. And so it has like this little, little crease going across of it. So I wanted something to put inside of it to help it hold its shape um, and to kind of speed up the process of getting rid of the crease. So this is the louis vuitton neverfull mm and i got it in the style of the regular traditional monogram and then the interior is the beige 
Um, also with the monitor with the Neverfulls, I believe years ago it, when you purchased the Neverfull, it just came with the bag. So now, with the last several years, they have upgraded it, and you now get the detachable um, wristlet. So it, it's attached on the inside. You can um, detach it and hook it on, and it serves as a wristlet. So you can carry this by itself. So it's almost like you're getting two purses in one. Um, and it has the same, the matching interior, the beige interior. Um, so that's really awesome. One thing I really like about this bag is... Um, it has the cinches on the side so that you can cinch it in to help close it up, but also it makes it a little bit more compact. Um, and so you can do that on both sides. Um, it's just a really awesome bag. I'll be sure to insert some, um, some video footage of the interior so you can see what that looks like. But it's a really awesome bag. It has um, the, the pinstripe design on the interior in beige. It's trimmed in like a, a red, like burgundy color. Um, it has the Louis Vuitton logo on the inside, things inside. Um, it is just a really, really awesome bag. And I couldn't be more excited about it. The size is perfect. It's perfect for everyday wear. It's perfect for, you know, travel. It, it kind of has its dual purpose bag. One of the things, if you're not familiar with Louis Vuittons, is this is one splurge item that it does not depreciate. It only appreciates. Um, you can sell this bag for more than you paid for it um, at just about any time. They're always in demand. They go up. Um, you know, I've had friends that have said that they've purchased this bag, um, you know, for, you know, say $8.50, um, carried it for a couple of years, and then sold it for, you know, $400 more than what they had originally paid for after it had already been carried for two years. So this is definitely an investment piece but it is well worth the price tag um, if you take good care of it and you actually use it so I'm really excited about the bag so let me show you what the divider looks like <clears throat> okay so this is the um, organizer insert that um, was delivered today I have not taken this out of the bag I don't even know if the damn thing fits um, I tried to look at the dimensions from the Louis Vuitton website and compare it to the dimensions on Amazon um, this actually came the seller of this um, organizer it came in four different sizes so nothing what matched the dimensions perfectly but um, I, I got as close to it as I could so and this beige color obviously it doesn't match the actual Louis Vuitton beige but again it was the closest option and sorry I can't get it out of the damn bag okay so this is, well, what in the world? Oh, okay, so here's what it looks like. And it's got these little Velcro straps on the side. So I guess so that the interior um, dividers, if you want it to just be a rectangle, that's fine. Or if you want the actual extra dividers, you can pop it in and out however you want to suit your needs for your handbag. And it has like this little accordion type um, insert um, for the interior. So let, Jax, what are you doing? Sorry, my dogs are running around my feet. So let me stick this divide, this um, organizer in to see how it looks all together. And obviously I feel like this is something that'll straighten out and fill out once you actually put stuff in it. So here's what it looks like with the dividers on the inside. Um, on the outside, we have three pockets here that where you can put items. And on the other side, there is one larger pocket. Pretty nifty. Now for the finale is, does this thing fit in the bag? Get this out. Get the wristlet out for a second. Please fit, please fit. The dimensions on the website were actually a little bit smaller than the dimensions of the bag. So I wasn't concerned that it wasn't gonna fit and I didn't get concerned until actually I started reading reviews um, online about this um, organizer and some of the complaints were that it did not fit exactly. And here we go. So it fills it out nicely. Again, it bulges, it, it fits, um, it lets it 
take shape a little easier it's getting rid of that that crease and that's what I want it to do I don't want it to stay creased um, and here's what it looks like inside the bag so now I just have to actually fill it up um, and there's enough space on the sides to where I can just drop the wristlet inside with no problems And I think we're good to go. Oh, I'm so excited. So here's kind of like what it looks like on me. Just for a size reference. Let me zoom out a little bit. This as a side reference. The size is pretty. It's a pretty good size. Now there is another size up. And that is the um, GM. So there's another size up from this one. And it is the GM. And it is bigger than this. Um, a lot of people I know who have it or want it use it as either um, a diaper bag or like an overnight travel bag or something like that. So hopefully that will be my next purchase. <laughs> um, and I have no problems purchasing that with myself. I don't have to ask Justin to get it for me. <laughs> um, so overall, very satisfied with the bag very satisfied with the divider obviously this week i will carry it and see how the organizer fits and stays in place and if i can get all of my goodies inside of it and just how i like carrying the bag um i may find that i want to just take this one out and or i do have another website where i saw the organizers and it's very popular but my issue there is that i think that they're a lot more expensive so I wanted to try the cheaper one off of Amazon first thinking, um, sorry, somebody wanted to be picked up. <laughs> um, thinking in the event that if um, it doesn't fit or if I don't like it, it's easy for me to return and get my money back. Um, so that's the bag. I will be sure to link all the details of everything below, um, including the bag, the uh, specific style number, the color I got, the size I got, um, the insert links to where you can buy the organizer yourself if you already have a bag but you're looking for the insert. I'll link all that below. Um, again, if you have any questions, um, would love to hear your feedback. Leave me some a comment below. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.